Um, my life before campus was, it was as good as you can get when um, you're doing all the work, you do all the workshops, you eat all the right food, you surround yourself as best as you can with all the right kinds of people. Um, you know, I thought I was doing it all, but I kept getting in my own way and I couldn't even see that I was doing that. I'm a sensitive human being and able to feel emotions of other people around me and sometimes that would affect me in such a way that I was unable to function. So I would actually be out of it for a really long time, like for days, just feeling depressed and unable to function. And then feeling a lot of shame about that and feeling like it was my own stuff. So feeling hopeless and then unable to communicate that to other people. So, you know, to someone who didn't know me very well, they probably just thought, oh, she's really flaky and out of integrity all the time. Well, she's just full of fluff. She just says all this stuff and then she disappears. Um, so it was actually, you know, very painful and um, I, I can't say I was very happy. So Compass isn't just a one day thing. It's, it, it, was a, it was a full intense eight, week, eight weeks of my life where I was working through a lot of things. Um, but each week I could see visible dramatic changes that were happening in me because I was, because I'm such a sensitive person and so aware that minute differences actually to me stand out quite a lot. Pre-Compass I was a dancer and a public speaker and um, involved in a lot of different arts projects um, and you know very very um, visionary in the things I wanted to create in this world. I was also just starting a journey as a model as well um, to empower and educate women on African culture and um, as part of a way to embody yourself as a woman, as a goddess, and as a queen. Um, Pre-Compass, I was definitely a princess. And a princess is a woman that's still, still a young girl in many ways, in that she doesn't know herself fully. Um, Post-Compass, I stepped into my queen and fully embodied my goddess. And what that means is I became a woman who is fully aware of who she is, fully aware of my flaws, fully aware of what I'm good at and owning it all and more authentic about it, um, able to clearly see my gifts and what I'm here to do, not abusing those things, those qualities and gifts, um, but actually making a difference with them and being in my true authentic power. Um, that's what Compass gave me as like the first off. Um, in terms of what I'm doing now, I'm doing things on a much grander scale. So my photography, my modeling went from just being an average kind of model to fully next level, um, amazing goddess, like just so proud. I'm hard to believe I'm the same person in a lot of ways. Um, I'm a lot more grounded, so I'm realistic about things, but I'm also, I still have that visionary um, ability to see beyond what most people think is possible um, but anchored here in this reality enough to know that I, I need to action things and see things through so for me that's been amazing because you know I always thought I'm, I don't want to be one of those people that dies with all these ideas that never got actually actioned <laughs> um, I'm also not in my own way anymore and I can tell when I am so um, just because you've I've done compass doesn't mean that things don't upset me or trigger me. Sometimes I have situations or relationships where something comes up and then straight away in the moment, I'm if I'm not feeling 100%, I can just go inward and check what's going on and I can, and I know straight away that there's work to be done around this area. Um there's stuff around this area that I'm blocked around and for me that's an incredible resource and tool because it means in any moment I don't have to be at the whim of my conditioning and past reactions and um, negative emotions. It's just I can just move through things and continue to grow really quickly. When you haven't done something like Compass, you're always looking for the answers outside yourself. When you've done something like Compass, you know that you've got all the answers. <laughs> One thing I noticed after Compass was that I was a lot more emotionally stable. Um, I hardly ever have um, really bad days and even on the bad days I'm just centered I'm grounded um, I'm able to function really well I'm able to commit to things and have the consistency that's required I'm able to 
to see things through. Um, I also don't get caught up in things that um, are not for my highest good. Um, so when I what I mean by that is if I'm having a conflict with someone, I'm much more able to be detached and not get caught up with my emotions. So my emotions aren't ruling me anymore. They are amazing support and an amazing tool for me to know what's going on in any moment, but they don't control my actions anymore. So, which is a really powerful gift. It means freedom. It means self-responsibility. It means power. Um, it means being authentic. It means um, fully stepping up into my goddess and my queen. That's what it means for me. Um, and it means that with all of this freedom and clarity, I can pretty much with confidence know that I can create whatever I conceive and nothing can stop me other than myself. And I'm not doing that anymore. So I feel pretty unstoppable right now. So <laughs> I really enjoyed working with Pam. I absolutely adore Pam. I think she's one of the most humble, um, incredibly sensitive, aware, um, talented human beings I've ever met. Um, she was able to hold my hand and take me on a journey that um, within a short period, I was able to work through some of the darkest, heaviest things in my life that um, some people may spend years working with someone to get even to a quarter of that. Um, so her ability to be empathet empathetic and open mind and open with you and also loving um, gives you the safety and the ability to be vulnerable within yourself, but also know that you're protected and held in that space. So you're never going to open up things you can't handle. You never have to go into anything you don't want to go into. You can actually just heal it without really going into the whole story and being re-traumatized, which I thought was incredibly amazing. Um, I have had a history of abuse in lots of different ways, and I was able to not go into the story, but also heal the trauma and also heal the impacts of that trauma in terms of how I relate to the external world around me. Um, this is this is an incredible gift for especially any person or human being who's experienced a lot of trauma. Um, this is a whole new revolutionary way of dealing with that, um, I found. And it left me feeling really empowered as opposed to a victim. If you're sitting on the fence, um, I would say that stop doing all the research and analysis paralysis because this is not something you can figure out with your head. You can't figure out the reasons why you've been in your own way by analysis paralysis, by a mind that's limited. Um, but what I can say is you can trust your heart to lead you. And if you've found your way on this website or watching this video, um, there's a part of you that knows that this work will actually change your life. And there's also another part of you that's in fear about what this change is actually going to create in your life. Um, but fear not, this change will always be incredibly amazing and exactly what you need. Um, it's a lot of us fear change because it's we're used to the devil that we know and um, if you want a better life, you have to let go of that identity and let go of that devil that you know to embrace a new way of being that's even greater than you possibly imagined, but exactly what you need and what you've dreamt of. Um, I would say if fears around money come up, um, this is definitely the kind of tool that will help you manifest more money in your life. It will also bring more abundance in your life. So you can't afford not to do it. <laughs> um, and it's an investment in yourself that really there is no price tag that you can actually put on this work. It's a real gift um, and it will change your life and it will change the people's lives around you because you will be interacting with them on a whole new level and you will be creating a life that others will just be incredibly in awe and they'll call you the miracle one because you will be creating things that you've been talking about for a long time but didn't we're just in your own way. Um, and there's nothing more amazing than being a deliberate creator. That's what we're here to do. So 
go and own that and be your awesome. Let go of all the fears and just jump. <laughs> I am totally open and willing for anyone to contact me via Facebook. I will have my own um, YouTube channel which will be posted on this link once that's up and going and I will be talking about Compass because it is a tool I use in pretty much every single aspect of my life. So I will be talking about um, how I'm integrating and how I'm using this and the new ways I'm changing my life on a daily basis with this tool as well. And you're so welcome to come and ask me questions about anything.